Hello, friends. It's so good to see you, even though I can't see you, but I'm glad you can see me. What a weird time we're living in. What a strange Lenten season. We didn't expect this way back when, on Ash Wednesday, when we started this, but here we are, nearly to Holy Week. And I just wanted to check in with you and tell you that you are in our prayers and that we love you so much and we can't wait to be back together again. I hope that you're behaving yourself, sheltering in place, staying in unless you need to go out. But I have to tell you that I am so very impressed with the things that I've seen and heard since we've been apart. The many ways that y'all are still continuing to be the church. You know, we don't have to meet in a building. The building isn't it. The church will go on and Christ will reign through us wherever we are. And we're actually, maybe we're actually reaching people better Maybe we're actually getting to know one another better in our church because of this. There's something about not being able to do something that causes us to really, really want to. And so I will tell you that I have seen so many good things and I'm looking forward to hearing some of your silver linings in the middle of this crisis. I know that there are gonna be good stories. I'm hearing some of those stories in the phone calls that I'm making to you. If I haven't called you yet, I'm getting there. I'm trying to get through the whole congregational list and other members of the session and the congregation are also making calls just to check on you and make sure that you don't have any needs. And I've been so blessed by what you have said to me and by what I'm learning through these calls. I'm getting to know a lot more people. So when somebody calls you, if you have a need, please don't hesitate to ask. We have people doing so many things. We have people delivering food to people who can't get out to get it. We have people making masks for healthcare providers and for first responders and maybe for the general public if we get to that point. We have people sending out worship resources for families with children. We have people uh, going to, in through prayer groups and, and making signs and things. You'll see something coming up in the near future that's gonna help us pray for our community. So many ideas, Drew and I are mind boggled at how many things y'all are doing. In fact, Drew had to make a call for all of the things that we know of that people are doing so that we can keep track of the wonderful, wonderful things, the wonderful work that we continue to do as the church. Um, I just wanted to say that I'm hoping that you are staying safe, that you have no needs. Please, when somebody calls you, if you have a need, let us know. As Presbyterians, we're so much better at being helpers than we are at being helpies. But please know, you bless people when you allow them to help meet a need that you have. We've had some losses this week. Ruth Ann passed away, and that's a huge loss to our congregation. It makes it even more hard that we can't get to her and, and to her family and do a worship service to celebrate her life but we will see what we can do later. It's a hard time not to be able to get into people who are in nursing homes or in hospitals, people who are suffering alone, people who are having to wait for medical care because the hospitals are strapped. It's a hard time, but we can remember that God is always with us and that God is working all things for good, for the very good of his people. So for Holy Week, we're going to do a Palm Sunday service, just like you've seen. Um, the past two Sundays when we've done them with a small group under 10 of people in the building. And then every weekday of Holy Week, Monday through Friday, you will be able to view a recording of a short devotional, a little homily about, um, about this week, this Holy Week that we're about to experience. And then on Easter Sunday, we're going to celebrate afar the best that we can, but this is not all that we're going to do because we have to remember that Easter is not just one day on the calendar. Easter happens every day. Easter has already happened because Jesus has already conquered sin and death, and we are free. And so when we celebrate Easter on one certain day, we can know that we can celebrate Easter on any day. And Drew and I have already, it was his idea, we have already decided that the first day that we're able to be back together again, whatever day that is, that's going to be Easter. So until that time, please continue to be Easter people doing all of the many wonderful things that you're already doing. So as you're out there being God's hands and feet in the world in these coming weeks, even though we're separated, please don't forget to support the church 
You can do so by giving online or you can mail a check to the church office. Either way, we just appreciate your support so that we can continue doing the good work that the Lord has started in us. And remember to stay safe, take care of yourselves and take care of one another. You are in our prayers and we know that we are in yours. God bless you.